Bene, eh, chi di voi vuole fare domande? Rosa e Nelly sono tutte vostre, presentatevi soltanto prima della domanda e poi formulatela pure. Prego. Allora ecco, è Roberto Lefriccio che ha twittato a Rosalyn uh, ieri, quindi penso mi ha anche salutato e la ringrazio. Yeah. Tenterò di fare un'intervista in 160 caratteri. No, la mia curiosità era un po' anche dal primo episodio, che qua abbiamo intuito delle cose, è lo sfondo sociale, cioè sarei curioso di sapere come siete viste ora quando andate nei parti, magari proprio a Bell Hills, dalle reali cameriere, cioè come vengono considerate, e poi soprattutto anche il problema della, lega della legalizzazione, che so che a Los Angeles, essendoci stato, è molto molto sentito. No, sei qua. Ok. I'm sorry. I was really confused if it was for her or for any of your questions, so I was like, do you mind telling me again? Sì, certo, cioè, sapere il fatto su, proprio voi a livello personale, ne, ne, nella vita reale, uh -huh. quando adesso andrete, and andate ai parti, praticamente, dove comunque sappiamo che il personale comunque viene, diciamo, Messico, comunque su Sud America, quindi come siete, per come percepite la cosa? E poi soprattutto, visto che la serie affronta il problema della legalizzazione che è molto sentito negli Stati Uniti e so che a Los Angeles si tenta di risolvere con, un, con una legge anche il Presidente Obama, quindi sa, il vostro impegno è sapere che ne, che, 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 che ne pensate. Well, obviously as a Latina and as a Mexican I fully support and uh, um, Latinos contribute a lot to the community in America. Um, in one way or another, taxes are, you know, a lot of people complain that, you know, they don't pay taxes, they're just taking our health care. Uh, you know, if you really break it down, people are working, people are purchasing goods, and uh, there's, you know, sales tax, they're renting homes, that's, you know, property tax. So, it's a big contribution. We are a lot of Latinos in America, and, um, you know, I fully think that the hard work deserves to be recognized. So... You know, I'm hoping that whatever law will be passed, uh, you know, we'll recognize that hopefully in the near future. And secondly, you know, when you're in Beverly Hills, when you're in LA, that's exactly what the majority of the people who are in the, you know, in those positions, that's where they come from, you know, if they are the help, if they are the maids, if you go to a restaurant, you know, the cooks. Uh, and, you know, you, I, mean, I notice this because I speak Spanish and I hear them and I can speak Spanish to them. and. Um, and it's just good to be, you know, you, it's, you, you can relate to them and for me it's just, you know, I'm just another, I'm, I'm another Latina who moved, you know, my family's in Mexico, I, my whole family's in Mexico, I was born in California, so I'm lucky because I'm able to legally work in America, um, but it doesn't mean that I'm not aware, so for me, When I realize that I've, you know, I've uh, fought and I've struggled, I just feel like any other Latino or any other ethnicity who moves to America to try to achieve the American dream. So, you know, I just, for me, it's kind of like, um, I, I'm able to relate to, to, to the Latino community in that way because I'm part of it. I hope that answers the question. When it comes to the show, guys, it, it, it's all in good humor. Like, we, we do have a storyline, the Rosie storyline, that she plays a Mexican that is trying to bring her kid um, back to America. And, and, and you, you'll see through the show, through the episodes, how that story develops, you know? And we, uh, we do tackle the immigration situation, but everybody have, have, they have to understand it's, it's, it's a light heart part of it. We don't, we don't, we don't want to preach. We don't want to come across like uh, we're teaching America <laughs> about immigration. <laughs> exactly. No, it's Mark Cherry. It, it's comedy. So we do it in a very um, exaggerated, fun way. And I, and I do believe that um, we did have a little bit of a backlash from not even the Latino community. We had, we had backlash from a couple of la la Latino reporters um, that... Um, didn't appreciate that the first time we have five Latino leads, we have to be playing mates. Uh, but I think the community, uh, per se, once they've seen the show, the mates, the, the, the service power in America, which is 49% Latinos, and that's true, everybody's like, why can't we just play the lawyer? And, the, and that's all fantastic, you know, if you're high, like a highly educated Latino. But the reality is, we do work in the service business too, you know, and that doesn't, mean, that doesn't make you less than anybody you're still getting paid and you pay your taxes, you know? So, so my, my whole thing was, 
Yeah, we play maids, but it's not about being a maid. It's about five stories of five women that want to just succeed and they have problems like everybody else. And it doesn't matter if you're rich or, or poor, it's about five women. Forget about the title of being maids. And I do believe that um, the maids and the, and the waiters and, and the workers um, um, that have seen the show, they recognize it for what it is. It's comedy, it's a laugh. We don't want to disrespect anybody. We're at the country, you know, we just, we, it's about five women with dreams and what they, they do to make the dreams come true and it's all in good fun. That's what I want people to really understand. It, it's, it's fun. We don't want to preach. And, you know, we've said this, Eva Longoria has said this a bunch of times. It doesn't make it any less because it's about maids. It doesn't, why is it a lawyer better? Why is it a doctor better than a maid? We've actually had a lot of fans, a lot of people tell us, listen, this is great. Uh, my mom was a maid. Judy Reyes' mom was a maid. Why are, you know, why are people, some people complained about it, about the, this whole thing. You know, I think that's over now in, in America. It kind of totally ended. I think people realize it's not about what, you know, it's not about that. The, the characters are, you know, bigger than that. But, um, but at the end of the day, you know, I just want to say that those um, stories are all, also worth telling. And it's just interesting to see a different perspective because there's so many shows out there where you see the rich and famous and the fabulous lives and the amazing cars. And you still get to see that in the show because, you know, we work for the rich and famous. But it's kind of like a different perspective. So I think it's just interesting to have a, a change for, you know, to change it up. It's just, I think it's just good. And the, and the show is so smart. It's just... You guys will, I think, and I hope you will all love it. Alte domande? Yeah. Salve, sono Elisabetta Colangelo per Vanity Fair. Eh, allora, mi chiede, volevo, la domanda è per entrambe voi. Allora, io mi chiedevo, eh, Casalinga Disperate comincia con il suicidio dell'amica dell e eh, Davis Mates, e invece comincia con l'assassinio dell'amica, dell insomma, tra le cameriere. E, e quindi mi chiedevo eh, in che modo, secondo voi, Davis Mates si pone come l'erede di Casalinga Disperate? Cioè, come un proseguimento, ecco, come... Cioè, io non ho notato tante similitudini. In a way, um, you can see that, because... And I've, I've watched all of Desperate Housewives in, like, a month, because I was obsessed once I started watching it, because I, I said, okay, I need to see what Mark Cherry is all about. So then I was like, okay, let me watch this, and I was like, oh my god, I can stop. So I know where, you know, where there's so many similarities and I love reading it. It's kind of like when you, when you have an author, author that you love and then you read a book and then suddenly you're done and you were like, oh, you know, I love that book. I wish I could be back in that world again. So then you go and read another book by the same author and you see the similarities, but it's a new story. It's a different story. And, uh, and yes, you know, we start with a murder. Um, but I think the whole background of, you know, all of us, the five women, it's completely different. The stories are completely different. We have different dreams. We follow different um, lifestyles. So in a way, it's kind of like, you know, if you really like Desperate Housewives, you'll be able to, you know, fill the void for that. But at the same time, it will be different. It will, will have new shockers and new, just, it's, it's going to be, um, in a way, it's going to be completely different, I have to say. It's inevitable to, to find the similarities. It's, listen, this world house was five women. Divis Mates is five women. Um, fabulous. <laughs> and the posters are like very similar. And you know, the marketing. Um, uh, and it's the same creator. And that's that's what he's good at. It's that, that kind of, of writing. So so to me, it does are See, I mean, the, uh, I mean, it doesn't really bother me when people say, it, is it the, the, the post? You know, that's what has was because now I, I think yeah, it, it's Mark Cherry. That's what that's what that's what he does. But yeah, with the the, the, the content, the tone is very similar. The content is going to be very different. 
per la risposta. Hi girls, first of all my compliments because I think that the pilot has a great potential. And the first thing, the question is more about Mark Cherry because I think that he really brought back something different on TV because we can say that the secret of Desperate Housewives and also of this one of TV's Maids is that it has a very feminine script that it's not about the cast that is made of women. So I think he brought back a TV genre that is soap opera. So I want to know from you um, what did female viewers miss uh, about this TV genre that is back? <laughs> I, I, you know what, you nailed it. It is a soap opera. It's, it's a nighttime soap opera. As, as Latinas, that's, I grew up watching novelas all my life, you know, and in the States, it's more about the series, you know, 24 episodes, 13 episodes, and it, it's, um, they, a lot of times they're standalone episodes, like I did uh, Without a Trace, I don't know if you guys had Without a Trace over here, Compo, what was the name of Without a Trace? Sin Rosco? Sin Rosco? That one, right? So that, that, that's a procedural show that, if you start watching episode, uh, season three, you know, every episode stands by itself, you don't have to really follow a whole story. Um, and I think um, the, the soap opera genre, people that love soaps, daytime soap opera, they, they're obsessed with it, you know, and it's been difficult for, for the, the business to be able to bring that format into nighttime TV. And, and I think he, he's a freaking genius when it, when it comes to that, you know, he, he brought soap opera at night and people are loving it and buying into it and Lifetime is an incredible... Um, the network that shows the show in the States, it, it, it's supposed to be television, although they want to change the, the, the creed, you know, they don't, want to call, they, they don't want to be called television for women anymore, um, because they're trying to expand. Um, but their demographic is female, so you can only imagine how much they're, they're, they're loving uh, Divious Mates, because it is a, a soap opera, and it's juicy, and ridiculous, and sexy, and funny, and just ridiculous, in a good way, you know, in a good way. So, I love it, I love it. I, I, we're having a fantastic time and I, I don't mind. It, it's funny because like when, <laughs> when you leave, when I left Puerto Rico, right, to move to the States to, to be a, an actress, I was like, I don't want to do novelas. You know, I just wanted the movies. And, you know, I don't, no, I'm, I'm not doing novelas. And here I am doing, I don't know. <laughs> so In English, and I love it, I love it. So yeah, no, I feel the same way. I, I said the same thing when I decided I was going to be an actress. <laughs> I'm going to do movies. <laughs> And then I realized yeah, how, how fun, I just didn't know, you know, this is so much fun. You get to be with the cast for, you know, we film for like six months and it's just a blast and I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I think the female viewers probably missed, you know, the fact that you have five women, Desperate House, like five, five, here five women, um, at least what I've been able to see is that a lot of the, the viewers start to relate with one character. So then each person starts to favorite someone and then they just either relate or they just fantasize, you know, about that one character, you know, which one is your favorite? So if you watch Desperate Housewives and you were obsessed with Brie Van de Kemp and you're like seeing her, you know, go down the spiral of like drinking and all these crazy, and then you just want her to, you know, get out of it or whatever, you like cheer for her. So I think with Devious Maids, it's the same thing, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of girls who want to be a singer and she, they want to be actresses and they probably relate with Carmen and then there's, you know, a lot of women who all that they've done their whole life is dedicate their life for their families and their children and they probably relate to the character of my, my mom, Zoila, who is Judy Reyes and then, so you have all these different things and so... Guys like it too. Yeah, guys love it actually, a lot of guys have... So like Facebook, um, people writing that my husband is so into it, yes. and, and it's it's really refreshing to know that that guys um, love it, and the gay community yes. loves it, and that's an important community. <laughs> 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 it's like gays love it, then we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna be a success. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's true. The fact that a lot of guys are liking it, it's amazing. Um, we want the gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, guys are gonna start to relate to the characters too. <laughs> Ma gli uomini che emergono da questa, da questa serie come...